Oh man, second cast with the shad. I hooked up. I got a bump on the first cast. Hopefully those fish are as thick as they, I think they are. Man, if I could just use sheds for bass, that'd be great if the blues aren't really thick. All right, you're going back, baby. This might be a great day down here today. Gotta go. <laughs> Apparently there's a couple of fish in the wash here at Montauk. Don't tell anybody. Hey, you're almost the keeper size. Wow. Small one on the teaser. The bigger one had to have the shed. Man, it's gonna be a good day today. I'm gonna bang them, baby! Woo! Oh, got a bunch of fish on the shed. I switched to a bucktail to try to get deeper to get bigger fish. That didn't work. Put the Super Strike bottle plug on them and banging them, whacking them. It's small, but hey. I'm not complaining. I'm smiling. Loving it, guys, loving it. Well, that was a lot of fun. I had about an hour and a half bite there. Real nice, the tide dropped out and so did the fish. So, uh, I watched a lot of the locals driving back and uh, they're stopping at that sandbar in town, but uh, I saw Stewie drive by, so I'm gonna get in the car and go follow him, to be honest with you. All right, gotta go find him again. Go closer to the point. I'll take a look in Camp Hero again, and maybe the north side. Day 30, my rod's not bent, so gotta go. Got some of the Montauk locals fishing over here. Check this out. <laughs> this is how you catch fish, guys. Stay in close proximity of them and watch them fish. This Montauk stuff isn't easy. Let's see what they're doing. Come on. All right. There's the trucks. They're working at Samo. Alright, I gotta switch to binocular mode. Man, there's nothing going on. I don't know. Right in front of that blue hotel, there's a sandbar that runs across and it goes right that way. And um, that's that bar I drift at night with eels when I was skishing and I caught those fish. It gets to right here and then it drops out, but uh, I don't know, it changes every week, so kind of curious. Nothing doing right now. All right, I gotta make the move. I'm gonna end up at Coswell's, I know it. Nice calm surf over here, over by Camp Hero now. Surf, what am I surfing? I find fish. No birds, no fish. Good, bye. Check it out, I'm going to Turtle Cove. Hold on, I gotta lock the floor while drive. Okay, got it. This PT Cruiser is great for this. No, I don't need a truck. Here we go. Here goes nothing, boys. Going to Turtle Cove. Uh oh. Not going to Turtle Cove. Going to the lighthouse. Like I said, I'm going to the lighthouse. Birds. Birds. There's birds off the bluffs. <laughs> 9 30 there's birds diving off the bluffs <laughs> oh man i'm in there gotta go yeah baby right there oh yeah i am so putting the tin on they're almost in range all right a little out of position a little out of breath but uh Looks real good, let me get them. Can't believe it, nobody on the steps of the lighthouse. Underneath the lighthouse is actually nobody fishing. Got a bunch of birds working out front and the boat's working out front. Not one guy down there, it gets a little bit wet today. Oh well, there's plenty of fish over here out front, so uh, don't need to go crazy. A lot of schools here and there. Eventually one of these schools is gonna pop up close and uh, I'm gonna hit them hard. All right. I'm gonna take a walk down the uh, north side here and see what I can do. A lot of fish out in front over here. Just gotta get close enough. I will. Hello guys, it's October 26th and uh, 
I'm underneath the lighthouse steps. I just got a nice hit. Didn't hook up, but uh, I'm the only one here. This is my talk, right? Oh well. Be careful I don't break my neck. There's actually nobody around. You could also sneak out of here with a 40 pound fish, too. Anytime you see me taping waves, you know I'm bored. Beautiful water over here by the lighthouse. Nice green incoming water. A couple of nice rollers coming in. A couple of people walking around over there by Turtle Cove. No fish. Nice day. No fish around the point. North side was kind of a bomb, baby. Birds kept teasing, but nothing came up. All right. I got some spots to stop out on the way out of here. Got to get that bus about 2.15. All right, gotta go. Man, it's hard to believe it's the end of October. Got one school of fish going by. I don't know, the fish coming, guys, or what? Shoo! Couple of little hits of fish, man, that's it. Got some ruddy ducks working the surf here. They're pretty cool. If you see these ducks, they're really big. They have a broad bill, they eat off the bottom, they're divers. Nice birds, man, they're really cool. Not what I'm looking for, though. All right, let me go check out here the hills and the town beach. Uh-oh, swimming prohibited. Does that mean skishing, too? I hope not, because I was looking forward to skishing off of here the hills. Gotta go. All right, got the place to myself. This is great. It's gonna be good. Got that outer bar, that's one thing about Hither Hills, they got a nice bar that they surf off of. And they got a deep trough behind it, so uh, we'll try there for a little while. A couple casts, we'll see what happens. Oh man, I was wrong, there is one guy down there. He's whaling on a fish, too. No, oh, he's bending his back, man, what's he got? Don't tell me it's a blue fish. Oh, he's getting close. I wonder if he needs a partner. Oh, he, he is like bent over. Let me get over there and see. Really coy, really coy. He had a nice sized bass, it was like 28 inches and he caught on a tin with the yellow tube. All right, at least I know there's some fish here and I know what to use. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm going in. I'm going in deep. I'm gonna get me something. Wow, things happen for a reason, I tell you. Made a couple of casts, I didn't catch anything. I had the same yellow tin on uh, Ava Jig with a yellow tail that the guy had on with the fish, but uh, no takers. There's a lot of weed, there's some debris in the water. But uh, one guy walks up to me and he's talking to me for a little bit and he whispered something in my ear. And uh, I can't tell you what it is right now, but uh, I'm gonna be back tomorrow and uh, I got a new spot I'm gonna go to. Apparently there's over 20 fish taken each. Everybody was there had at least 20 fish. So, uh, I think the conditions will hold tight till tomorrow. Nothing's gonna change. It's a matter of just getting here early in the morning. I gotta be home around 10.30 tomorrow morning, so uh, two hours sleep, I'll be here early. And gotta get me a room. <laughs> Over and out, guys, bye.